we are now looking at uh, how to import uh, values into MATLAB and use the values for our analysis so here are few study uh, tips for you the intention of this video and the such tutorial is to get some intuition going so nobody expects you to memorize uh, what we talk about it's uh, just knowing what all we can do here and maybe if you might have done this in Excel maybe uh, you can link that better indexing is one area of MATLAB which is just playing around with cells and uh, bringing out cells here and there like we look up in MATLAB uh, selecting a portion of the of the matrix and things like that so you can think of a 2d area of a matrix as a different cell in Excel there's some placement that you can do uh, beside the uh, placement that comes default by MATLAB to make it easy for you the idea of uh, what we are doing here is to run the time series and uh, calculate the regression uh, parameters so many of the times the values that we get uh, for various stocks uh, or from different websites uh, which export those values into the CSV format uh, CSV format is comma separated format is uh, the best uh, known format for all the data or the other expect, uh, extension is dot DAT that it comes with uh, tab space data so CSV is uh, oh, sometimes that we get from various sources online sources when we pull the shares, shares stock prices and and they have uh, uh, the, the numbers into string and that is the reason uh, that we get here so uh, if you use CSV on uh, CSV read command by MATLAB to pull out that CSV you get stuck because the CSV does not work with uh, uh, the non number values so uh, we need to look at how to do that and uh, the CSV syntax as you can see on your screen is quite uh, intuitive uh, it says that the file name uh, the row name and the column name where you want to start with they will search with commas and enter to uh, to capture the values so uh, uh, if you want to do this we have uh, an alternative for XLS read uh, the DLM read again have the same problem that uh, it's for a custom delimiter but if the values are string it, it gets uh, uh, it, it gets stuck up somewhere in between so XLS read is a command and we generally use that so the out output of this XLS uh, read command in Excel comes into three format uh, the numbers the string and the raw data so raw data is like the combination of number and string so the screen in front of us in Excel is the is kind of a raw data in, in MATLAB uh, uh, terminology because in raw data you have um, the numbers and uh, the strings while MATLAB gives you an option to pull all of them so what we can do is that we can convert the CSV and save it in uh, Excel and that would help us to uh, uh, automatically capture the values which are number which are not and we don't we don't need to capture this uh, uh, again while we uh, do that in MATLAB otherwise a way would be that bring the strings and find out which of them is uh, numeric and then change into numeric which of them is date and then change into date so if Excel can do all of this for us uh, it becomes very easy for us to uh, bring everything into uh, from the Excel format into MATLAB and the same goes for SQL that uh, CSV does not have the type so if you bring CSV in any format in SQL or in MATLAB you have to uh, define uh, what the values are so the string values might be numbers or dates or whatever uh, now importing into Excel uh, we have a GUI option to import in MATLAB and uh, then we can convert uh, so just the command that you see here on the screen it's numtxt raw it will uh, lead to like uh, three things and uh, uh, the num has the numbers the text has just the text or the string and the raw has all of the values so raw is a place where everything is combined now sometimes uh, when we do that when we play around uh, there are some blank cells that are uh, imported and we want to remove those blank cells so we have a function called cell fun uh, and is empty so we can uh, uh, remove them and the date num is used to convert uh, the string into the dates so date format in MATLAB is similar to Excel where uh, they have a date which they uh, make zero and then the next date is one two three four so in MATLAB also if you uh, force uh, the numeric format for the date column you'll see a big value of date so the current value the today's date would be like 7000 something and it's the same in, in MATLAB that the date is at that time 
uh, in the same format now the indexing function uh, you can select a small part of the matrix so this is one way to select like uh, the first column second entry up till the last entry so this is useful when you uh, have the raw format into excel and you want to take it into the financial time series object uh, so you can take uh, everything into the financial time series object uh, you if you see here we can break the long code given in the first line into small code if it if it gets stuck up or if you're in trouble somewhere and then we can probably pull that so uh, the command fence uh, would convert all these uh, uh, columns or data into the financial time series object uh, the second uh, uh, argument for this uh, fence is uh, the data and the first argument is the date as expected and which is the default format for all the files that are the first column is the date and the second column is the data so those are uh, some of the f ways to bring uh, excel uh, inputs into the financial time series object i hope this was useful for you thank you for watching